have been a learning curve for Townsville Crocodile Centre Ben Allen. Seven Local News caught up with the birthday boy as he turns 24 and makes plans to secure more court time this season. It's been quite a year for Ben Allen. He's gone from being a superstar of US college ball Allen again for that three. to battling for court time with the Crocs. Playing um, 25, 30 minutes a game in college and then coming down and, and not playing in my first game as a professional was a bit of a shock. A switch from Indiana Allen University to St Mary's College proved a winner. In his Allen. senior year, the Melbourne product established a killer partnership with Gales' Omar Samhan. Together, they led St Mary's to the West Coast Conference Championship title. They made it to the Sweet 16 in the NCAA. For Alan, it was a dream run. My dad was like, well, I can't go back to work now, so he stayed another week and, and came out to um, Texas where we played Baylor, and unfortunately things didn't go so well out there for us. His college time done, the NBL came knocking. Former Crocs assistant coach Pat Reedy helped tip Alan's signature in Townsville's favour. He uh, really sold Townsville to me as a place where I could develop my skills and um, a big stepping stone to the next to the next level. But Alan admits he's struggled to adjust to the realities of professional ball. I've been working in the gym, I've been skipping a lot and um, Cam the trainer has been working with my foot speed. Alan received a last minute call up to the Boomers squad this year and he's eager to cement a permanent place in the green and gold. I've been uh, told I'll be back next year for the for the lead up to the Olympics so if I can get a, a foot in the door there and maybe show the selectors that I can play then who knows. Until then, he admits there's a lot more work to be done. This is a place where I really want to develop and maybe stay three, four, five years and really make a name for myself in Townsville. Only time will tell whether Alan gets his wish. Veronica Eggleton, 7 News.